joined here today um, by John Moffat from Fairfax Media, and we're here to talk about Adstock.txt, uh, a global IAB initiative. It's been formulated by IAB Tech Labs, but we've grabbed it here in Australia, and we've got a mission to really roll it out. But let's go back to the beginning, John. What is Adstock.txt? You know, in markets like the US, uh, we're talking about uh, $7 billion a year that are being uh, uh, given away to ad fraud. And locally here, based on the IOB Australia's numbers, that's, um, that's uh, you know, a very significant amount of money uh, locally. Ad fraud rates here in Australia are around the 4% mark. Um, and fortunately for us, they seem to be declining. Mm. But it's still a massive problem. So to eliminate ad fraud, the Tech Lab has put together this kind of smart way of trading. They've been uh, in touch with all of the major tech vendors around the globe right. to basically put together a plan. Now, Adsoptex is literally just a text file, but what it describes inside it is um, a series of uh, people, domains, um, that can actually resell a publisher's inventory. So I think for most webmasters, this is a simple text file, and as long as right. they get the contents right, it just needs to be dropped onto the root domain of the website and therefore is accessible to any of the, the, the crawlers out there that need to see it, and of course the platforms that are transacting with the sign. For the first time for Fairfax, what we'll be able to do is go and set an explicit approval on which parties, through all the programmatic exchanges and through other channels, can um, buy and then resell Fairfax inventory. So it's about identifying approved buyers and sellers? Correct. Correct. So it covers both, and importantly that gives Fairfax ultimate control over who gets to, to resell our inventory? So uh, it actually tends to put a stop to any uh, domain spoofing, any uh, people that just want to buy ads and resell them on to, to create some additional value, and in some cases get up to mischief. So um, uh, put fraudulent messages in there, payloads that will damage people's uh, machines, etc. Now for um, anyone out there that's trying to implement this, it's actually very simple to do. Uh, all the major tech vendors, so particularly in this market, AppNexus and uh, Google have got very specific guides uh, out there in terms of what it is that you need to, to do. And every vendor is very helpful. I'll actually send you typically what the entry is for your business that relates to, to, to their environment. Uh, recently, Google did launch a tool that sits in their DFP UI that allows you to validate the ads.txt file when it's put in place, right. which is also great because it allows you to see if you've made any mistakes. And it validates it against their platform to make sure that any of the IDs and specifics that need to sit in there um, are, are appropriate. So you're not going to be inadvertently allowing somebody else to resell your inventory or actually cut your revenue. Uh, so all the tech players are on board. Some are actually stepping up and doing more, like AppNexus and, and, and Google. Publishers like yours, uh, Fairfax, have, have, have grabbed this. Now, Fairfax were one of the first parties um, to jump on board with this. Um, I can tell you now, based on some statistics provided by Google, we're up to 30,000 domains globally that have now implemented this, and it's a, it's a fantastic uptake. Brilliant. Thank you, John. Let's make this happen. Okay.